Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Do you have cellulites? I used to have a lot of cellulites on my skin. Now, most of you will get some form of a cellulite one way or the other. Now take a look at this picture. That is actually cellulite. Now, what is this cellulite? It's not really like lumps and dimples and like a wave on your legs and your buttocks and sometimes on your arms. You know, people tend to get it on their hips. Now, how do we get rid of this? I find an easy way to get rid of the cellulite. What I did, I copied what the celebrities are doing. They have this method that they use to get rid of their cellulite. I can afford to do that so I improvise and that's what I'm gonna show you today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your cellulite like a celebrity do without the every price tag so the first thing I normally do and I do this at least two to three times a week is to exfoliate my legs and that's where I have the cellulite you know my butts and buttocks and all of that too but I can't show you that today and I exfoliate with an invigorating body scrub so what I'm gonna do let me show you how I make the body scrub and then I'm gonna show you how I exfoliate the legs. To make this invigorating scrub I'm gonna be using some coffee beans. I'm using about a quarter cup of the coffee beans I'm gonna blend it to a powder. If you have ground coffee, go ahead and use your ground coffee. So just I'm also gonna be using some dried orange peel and I'm using this for its vitamin C property. So what I do, I blend the dried orange peel to a powder and here I have the dried orange peel. So I'm gonna pour about a teaspoon of my dried orange peel. You can also choose to blend the coffee and the orange peel together. So let's just give it another whip. So here I have my dried orange peel and coffee beans. Mix the two together well. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to reach for some coconut oil which will help to moisturize and I'm using about a teaspoon of the coconut oil give and take I'm going to blend this in you do not need a lot a little goes a long way next I'm going to reach for some eucalyptus oil essential oil and I'm going to put about four to five drops of the essential oil I'm also going to be using some grapeseed oil. You can choose to use only grapeseed oil or only coconut oil. I'm just going to use the two. If you don't have the two, that's okay. Use another oil like olive oil. So I'm putting a teaspoon of the grapeseed oil in the mix. And now we're just going to blend this together. And this is our invigorating cellulite scrub. So here is my legs. And what I do, I take my, my scrub and I apply it to my legs. And I just exfoliate in circular motion. Just keep exfoliating all over the legs. Exfoliate, circular motion. Exfoliate. And this smells really, really good. Really nice, really invigorating. And I can feel the sensation already on my legs. So just exfoliate and let's get back for a little more. And you're gonna apply a pressure that you're comfortable with. Now once I'm done with that, I take my little gosha right here and I just use it up and down on my legs like that while the product is still on my legs, up and down. Rubbing it. So here is my little gosho, and that is what I'm using on my legs. And I like to put a little pressure on this. Just a little pressure, rubbing it on the legs. Yeah. Anywhere you have your cellulites, guys, boots in circulation, 
getting rid of that lumpiness on the legs. So just keep doing this. Now, once this is done, guys, we're going to rinse this off, preferably with some warm water. So let me rinse this off and then I'm going to come back and show you the next step. Now, after exfoliating, the next thing that I do, I use an invigorating moisturizer. So let me show you how to make the moisturizer really, really quick. And then I'm going to come back and show you how I use the moisturizer on my skin to smooth my skin to get rid of my cellulite. Here I have some cocoa butter. This is about one ounce of cocoa butter. So what I'm going to do with the cocoa butter, I'm just going to soften it a little more like I'm showing here. So I'm just going to keep, you know, fluffing it up, fluffing it up, making it creamy and getting rid of any lumps that we might have and keep fluffing, keep fluffing. And now that it is creamy, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to reach for some squalene oil and squalene oil is going to help with circulation but it's also going to moisturize the skin so i'm going to be using you know my squalene oil of a dropper so i'm going to use about eight run about a teaspoon of the squalene oil pour this in and now i'm going to reach for our next ingredient which is some eucalyptus oil you can choose to use either eucalyptus oil or lavender oil in this i'm doing about five to ten drops of the eucalyptus oil And now I'm just gonna blend the three together. So we're blending cocoa butter, we're blending squalene oil, and we're blending eucalyptus oil together. So once this is done, take a look of how soft and creamy this is. And now I'm gonna add my final ingredient to this, which is Vicks Vapor Rub. Vicks Vapor Rub is a form of a menthol with camphor, which is great for cellulite. So I'm going to be using about a teaspoon of the Vicks Vapor Rub, and we're going to add this to our bowl. Now we're going to mix and we're going to mix well. So we're mixing shea butter, eucalyptus oil, squalene oil, and Vicks Vapor Rub. So keep fluffing it up. Keep fluffing up. And once this is done, I like to just pour mine in a small jar. Scoop it out. And you could smell the Vicks in this, guys. You can also choose to double up on the ingredient. This is a long shelf life. You don't need to refrigerate it. You can leave it out. Six months or more, it's still good. So doubling up on the ingredient is quite okay. And now here we have our balm for cellulite. Now so once I rinse, I move on to my cocoa butter mixture. And I take just a little bit of the cocoa butter and I apply it to my legs and I just massage it on my legs. And this just feel really, really nice on the legs. So totally massage my legs anywhere you have your cellulite. And here is the trick, guys. Now take a look at what I have here. I have a glass. Now there's this method that the celebrity use, which is called the cupping method. The cupping method is what they use to boot a circulation. Now you can choose to go ahead and you can go and buy the cupping or the cups. And I insert a picture right here for you to see. Or you can just improvise like I do. I'm going to use a glass and make sure the surface is totally clean. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my glass upside down. It don't have to be a stem glass, okay? And I'm going to just do the cupping method by using the glass. Similar to what I was doing with the gosha. So I'm pressing it. Smoothing it out backwards forward backwards and it feels really really good guys anywhere you have your cellulite and you can do this for about three to four minutes depends on the area you're trying to get it from and look at that it might get a little red guys just like when you do the real thing but not to worry this is the circulation that you are 
boots in and look at mine getting red that's okay that's okay that's okay and press lift press lift you're gonna see the marking but that's fine guys oh and it feels good just keep doing this and you want to do this for a couple of minutes well and when you're done that's it now how often should you do this two to three times per week and how often should you use the scrub two to three times per week the cocoa butter mixture every day a.m and p.m before you know it you are on your way to cellulite free and guess what this didn't cost you much guys the most this is gonna cost is about five bucks okay all right so so there you have it guys an amazing cheap inexpensive way to get rid of your cellulites at home give it a try what do you have to lose absolutely nothing what do you have to gain a smoother nicer looking lumps <laughs> Lumps. what do you have to gain a smoother nicer looking skin free from lumps and free from pimples give it a try use it for a couple of weeks guys and then come back and leave your comment thank you all for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video comment guys comment comment comments and also if this was your first time watching and you want to see more of these videos look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed also guys there's a little you know bell at the side if you give it a little click with your mouth, guess what? You will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one.